Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to draw parallel lines and perpendicular lines using our set squares. The 45 degree and the 30 degree set squares are the two most commonly used instruments in technical drawing, along with the compass, rulers and mechanical pencils. These technical drawing tools should be well maintained so as to ensure accuracy while drawing trying to keep the edges of our rulers or our set squares clean and scratch free and without damaged edges. So the first thing we are going to do is to learn how to draw perpendicular lines with our set squares using two different methods of drawing a square giving the length of one of its sides. So here on the screen we have the given side of a square AB. So now using the first method we are going to draw two perpendicular lines from point A and from point B on our line segment AB. So now the first step is to align the hypotenuse of our 45 degree set square with the line segment AB as can be seen here on the video. The next step is to support one side whichever is easiest for you depending on whether you are left handed or right handed of our 45 degree set square and with the 30 degree set square you support it on the left hand side as can be seen here or any ruler you can also use. So now holding our 30 degree set square in exactly the same position we are going to rotate our 45 degree set square 90 degrees to the right and rest it again on our 30 degree set square. So we'll just show you this again. We rotate our 45 degree set square 90 degrees to the right. You will notice that our 45 degree set squares hypotenuse forms a perfect vertical angle with our 30 degree set square. So now we slide our 45 set square to the left until we reach point A where we are going to draw our first perpendicular line as can be seen here. So now we can check that we are accurate by checking with the 90 degree side of our 45 degree set square as can be seen here in the video which is perfectly 90 degrees. So now let's mark with the symbol of perpendicularity which can be a semicircle with a dot inside. We can do this process exactly the same by starting off using the hypotenuse of our 30 degree set square and the 45 degree set square supporting and this time we rotate the 30 degree set square 90 degrees to the right as can be seen here. We rotate it 90 degrees again. So now sliding the set square down until we reach point B, we can now draw our second perpendicular line from point B. The only problem being is that sometimes we do not have enough length in our set square to complete our perpendicular line as can be seen here. So now we are going to show you another method which won't give you this problem. So setting our 30 degree set square, set square's 90 degree edge to the first perpendicular line, we now use another set square or ruler to support our set square on the bottom side. So the only thing we need to do now is slide our set square to the right until we reach our point B and then complete our perpendicular line as can be seen here in the video. So now we are going to use another method to draw the perpendicular sides of the square given its base. Again I remind you the, of the previous method. So setting our 45, the hypotenuse of our 45 degree set square on the bottom line and supporting it on the left side with our 60 degree we rotate our 45 degree set square 90 degrees and we push it up or slide it up so that we can draw our line A. So the first step is similar to the previous method. We align the hypotenuse of any side of our set squares with the given line L. And the next step is to support this set square using another set square or ruler as can be seen here in the video. So now we slide our set square down so that it is parallel with our line segment L. And finally, now being very careful to hold the set square in this exact position, we are going to rest another set square at a 90 degree angle and slide it to the point A where we will draw our perpendicular line.
and to draw point B, it is more convenient to rotate the set square so that we have more support while drawing our perpendicular line from point B, as can be seen here in the video. Having rotated our set square, we slide it over to point B and we draw our perpendicular line. So now you can see our two perpendicular lines from using this second method. Perhaps this method is easier to understand, but I personally recommend using the first method, as it is more accurate in my opinion, as you only have to move one set square rather than two. So now that we have found out how to use our 30 degree and 45 degree set squares to draw parallels, we can complete our square with a given side, as can be seen here in the video. Okay, so continuing, we are now going to use our set squares to draw shapes around a symmetrical axis. So as you can see here, in the middle of our screen, we have a symmetrical axis drawn with a dotted line and an irregular shaped polygon on its left side. So now we are going to draw its mirror image on the right hand side of the symmetrical axis. So the first thing we have to do is to draw perpendicular horizontal lines from each vertex of our irregular shaped polygon through the axis and to the right edge. So to do this, the first step is to align the hypotenuse of the 45 degree set square with the symmetrical axis, as can be seen here. And now the next step is to place our 30, 60 set square on the upper side of the 45 degree set square, as can be seen here. And now, holding our 30 degree set square in exactly the same position, we are going to rotate our 45 degree set square 90 degrees to the right and rest it again on the set square and slide it up until the vertex A where we are going to draw our first horizontal perpendicular line. So now we repeat this again. We rotate our hypotenuse of the set square with the axis placing and holding our 30 degree set square on the upper side of the 45 degree set square. We are going to rotate our set square 90 degrees to the right and slide it up until point A where we draw our horizontal perpendicular line through the symmetrical axis as can be seen here. So now we are drawing our first perpendicular horizontal line from vertex A. We are going to use another method to draw the perpendicular lines from the remaining vertices. So as you can see here in the video, I align my 30 degree set square with the previously drawn horizontal perpendicular line. So now holding it in this fixed position, we now locate the hypotenuse of the 45 degree set square on its left edge, as can be seen here. And now we slide our 30, 60 set square down until it passes through our remaining vertices where we draw horizontal perpendicular lines from each one. So from point F, here from vertex B, we continue to slide our ruler down. We draw another perpendicular horizontal line from vertex C. Sliding down again. We draw a perpendicular horizontal line and finally from vertex D. We draw our last perpendicular horizontal line. Now that we have completed our perpendicular lines, we are going to check their perpendicularity using any 90 degree angle of any set square and as you can see here they are all perfectly perpendicular. So now we are going to write the parallel symbol on each perpendicular line as you can see here.
And the last step here, where the video is speeded up, is we are going to draw our mirror image of the irregular shaped polygon. If you want to see a full video on how to do this, you click the link attached. The video that we are looking at now is to show you how to draw perpendicular lines using our set squares. That's why we've speeded this part of the video up. So now we have our mirror image of an irregular shaped polygon using our set squares to draw perpendicular and parallel lines. So let's continue showing you how to use the set squares to draw parallel and perpendicular lines. In this case, we are going to draw a regular heptagon inscribed in a circle using the general method. As you can see, we have already started. We've got our circle with the diameter AP and we are going to divide it into seven parts using Thales theorem. To do this, we draw a line at any angle from A, as can be seen here, and we are going to mark the line seven times with the same length. For example, two centimeters for each division. We can do this using a ruler or using our compass set to two centimeters and scribe seven arcs. When we have our seven divisions marked, we finally join our last division, our seventh division, to point P, the bottom side of our diameter. So now we are going to join the seven mark with the end of our diameter P. And we have to draw seven segments parallel to this line. To do that, we are going to use this little 30 degree set square and set it exactly under the first line. And with the ruler or another set square, we will support the left hand side of the 30 degree set square as can be seen here. And now we slide our 30 degree set square up until it reaches the six mark. We make sure it's perfectly straight. And then we slide it up to our sixth division where we draw our first perpendicular segment. I'm going to slide it all the way up to our first division because we, in this video, we are using ink, so we don't want it to run. So we're going to start from division one, now from division two. Our third division, another parallel line segment. Our fourth division. And we draw our fifth division. And we've already drawn our sixth and seventh. So now that we have drawn our seven parallels, we are going to mark the division number two on the diameter because this division is key to completing our drawing. And we are going to mark all parallel line segments with the parallel symbol as can be seen here. So now we are going to repeat the whole process again, but this time with divisions of one centimeter instead of two centimeters to show you that it still works exactly the same, even though our seven divisions are with a different measurement. So exactly the same process, only instead of having divisions of two centimeters, we have divisions of one centimeter. And again, we join our final division, our seven division, to point P on the vertical diameter.
and again setting our hypotenuse of our 40 of our 30 degrees z square exactly underneath our seventh division and supporting it on its left side with a ruler or another set square and holding it in the same position we slide our 30 degree set square up and we draw our remaining six parallel line segments as can be seen here in the video one division two division three with our third parallel line segment division four Division 5, and finally our 6th division, as we've already drawn our 7th. Okay, and again we mark each parallel line segment with its parallel symbol. And again we mark our 2nd division too. So now we join our second division to point Q and prolongate it so that it cuts our circle at point B, as can be seen here in the video. And now setting our compass to the arc AB, we continue to mark seven arcs around the circle, which should fit exactly. And the final step is to join our seven vertices to form our heptagon, our seven-sided polygon. I hope this video has helped you how to draw perpendicular and parallel lines using our 45 degree and 60 degree set squares. Thank you very much. Please click like or subscribe to our channel.